Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about working in back loop only or front loop only, which is a technique that can really give a lot of texture to blankets and garments and other things that you may want to create. So I think um, it's something that you may enjoy looking into. Now, um, back loop only is traditionally abbreviated as BLO, pretty simple. And of course, front loop only is traditionally abbreviated as FLO. So if you see those abbreviations on a pattern, we're going to talk through what that means and what how, what type of um, effect it has on your, your project. So I just have a, a little kind of swatch here. Um, this is just, I think, a bunch of um, half double crochets that I did, and I started doing some double crochets on my second row. Now, I want to show you what those two things mean. Now, first, let's take a look at a stitch so we can kind of identify what the parts of the stitch are. You're probably used to this already, but if you're looking at your project from the top down, okay, I'm actually going to turn it like this, and if you've looked at any of my um, beginner videos, you've seen this before. You can see there are a bunch of V's. I'm going to use my hook. These are V's. And each one of these V's here, 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 you can see these V's. Those are, that's a stitch. Tradi traditionally, when we crochet, we insert our hook under both loops of that V, and that's where we do our stitch. And every time you do a stitch, you're going to stick your crochet hook under both loops. Those are the two loops of the stitch that we're talking about today. So if you see it from the side, it's really easy to see, right? You have these holes, that's where you put it. If you look, you're going under both loops. Now, when we're um, working in front loop or back loop only, that's what we're talking about are these two loops right here. So it might seem pretty common sense here, but just to be clear, this part of the V here is your back loop. This one here closest to you is your front loop. So if you're going to be doing a stitch in what's called back loop only, instead of going through this hole here, which puts it into underneath both loops, you're actually just going to start from the top and insert your hook so that you're only going under that back loop. All right, so let's just do a couple, I'm just gonna do a couple of uh, double crochets and I'm gonna do them in back loop only. So I'm gonna yarn over, but I'm not gonna go through here, right? I'm gonna go from top down, here are my Vs. This is the back loop, because it's the one farthest away from me. I'm inserting my hook under that back loop only, and I'm gonna complete my double crochet. Okay, and you can see the front loop is still sitting here, right? We didn't do anything with that. Let's do a few more of those. Okay, here's my V, all right? Here's the front loop, here's the back loop. I'm gonna go under the back loop only and then complete my double crochet. All right, let's do that a couple more times. Back loop only. There's the V, here are your two loops. You wanna insert under that back loop only. And let's just do one more. I'm gonna go under back loop. And like I said, traditionally when you're working in front or back loop only, as opposed to having your crochet work this way, it's usually helpful if you have it pointed toward you a little bit so you can see from the top. Let's just take a look at that. So here is your um, double crochets that we did just in the back loop only. And you can see you have this little ridge here that's created because you didn't put anything in that, um, you know, in that loop. You didn't put them under both loops. So you have this little loop left in front and it creates a little ridge and it can create some texture for you, which is pretty cool. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna do it in the front loop only. So again, pretty common sense now, right? Here's your V, this one's your back loop, this one's your front loop, 
So we're going to do front loop only. So we're going to go, I'm actually angling my hook up so that I don't go through both of those loops because I just want the one in front. And if you can see, here's the back loop, here's the front loop. I only went through the front loop. All right. Okay. There's your back and front loop. I'm going to go in just the front. So I've left the back one alone, just the front. And I'm completing my double crochet. See that? I'm going to do a few more here. Front loop only, right? All right. Front loop only. See how I'm going right up between the two of them? Oops. And right out. Let's try that again. Front loop only. All right, we'll do another one here. Here's my next stitch. Oops, that was through both. Here's front loop only. And I grabbed that. There we go. Okay. And now you can see with the front loop only, you're creating that ridge in the back instead of the front. Here's our, we did back loop only. Here's the little ridge. Here's front loop only, so it's flush here. And you've created that little ridge in the back. That's your back loops that you didn't use. So you can see it can create some different texture. I'll show you a uh, project that I did recently that used all back loops. This is a blanket. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. This is a blanket I created and that tutorial is on my channel um, and I'll put a link to it um, so that you can take a look at it. If you've watched a lot of my channel, uh, a lot of my videos, you know I like texture and I like to, you know, to have the impact that different textures make. But this is a blanket that has this really pretty built-in border, but I wanted a nice um, tight center of the blanket um, and I, but I wanted texture to it too. So if you can see these little lines and ridges that are created here, that's from me doing this center section all using back loop only. It's a linked double crochet stitch versus just a regular double crochet. And I have a tutorial if you're interested in what a linked double crochet looks like. But it's a linked double crochet that's just in the back loop only. And here you can see the front loop is left out here, and so it creates this nice little texture so that you have a really pretty look to the, the, the project that you're working on. So there's a lot of cool things you can do by using um, front loop only or back loop only, but when you see that BLO or that FLO, that's what we're referring to. So I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions or want other tutorials, please let me know in the comment box below. And if you would, as usual, I would appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. That would really help out my channel. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.